This video will give an overview of the Reliax FiberPost system. Here we can see three different types of Reliax Unisem cement. The first type is the capsule, and we can use this for cementing posts if we want to. The next type is the Unisem clicker, which we will not be using for cementing a post. The third type is the Unisem auto mix syringe with an elongation tip which we will be using for today's exercise to cement a post. Now these elongation tips can be a little bit tricky. You need to push them on quite firmly to the end until you hear a click. Support the end when you're pushing it on, otherwise it might break. Push it all the way down, and I personally like to put it on before I mix the capsule. However, if you wish, you can put the tip on after you've mixed it. Here we can see the use of the syringe. Once again, you want to push the elongation tip onto the end. Now, in a clinical situation, you need to irrigate the canal first with sodium hypochlorite, wash it thoroughly with water, and then dry the canal, checking with a paper point that the canal is dry. Then just want to make sure that the post goes all the way down, verify the post size, here we're using a red post and you can see it's going all the way down. You can try a larger size post if you want to, to see if that'll go all the way down as well. And this actually doesn't look to be too bad, but when we take it out and compare it with a red post, we will notice there's a difference of about a millimeter in length. Having tried the posts in the canal, you want to make sure they're now nice and clean. Now we're going to uh, cement the post using the Unisem cement. We express a little bit of the cement, the same as with any auto mix material, because the first little bits usually not mix properly, and then put it into the canal directly, right to the very bottom, and then inject from the bottom up. As you inject, the cement starts to then come up, and when it gets to the top of the canal, we then stop. If you want to, you can put some cement on the post, but I don't think that's really necessary. We then put the post in the canal and it usually just goes straight down to place. We wipe away the excess cement because although Unisem is a resin cement, it's not as strong as some of the other composite materials we might use as a core. Having wiped away the cement, we just push on the top, make sure the post is fully seated, and then we go ahead and light cure it. Here we can see using the curing light, we put the curing light on the tip of the post and we light cure and the light goes all the way down the post to the end, curing the cement. For extra security I like to light cure it from the sides as well. And Now we take the stopper off. We're now ready to cut the post to the right length. Now one thing you must not do with these posts is to cut them to length using a pair of scissors or using some wire cutters. That's a really bad idea because what will happen is you'll crush the fibers and destroy the post. So you cut the post to length using a burr. Here we can see using a burr, cut at an angle, roughly approximating the cingulum contour. Now we're ready to acid etch the tooth. We apply the acid over the um, dentin, enamel if there is any there, and also over the unisem and the uh, post itself. Brush it, scrub it. Do this for about 15 to 30 seconds. And now we're ready to go and wash it off. Here we can see we're washing it off with the air water syringe. And then now we'll give it a spray. And now we'll air dry it, leaving the surface slightly moist. We'll now apply the single bond adhesive We'll scrub it in over the composite Unisem cement, also over the post, and also over the dentin. We'll make sure that all the surfaces are covered, and now we'll go and evaporate the solvent. Note we're keeping the tip about an inch away from the tooth, and we move the syringe around a little bit just to gently evaporate the solvent. Now we're ready to light cure. We start by light curing just a millimeter or so away from the 
surface and then we bring the light up really close. We're now going to build the core up using Filtech Supreme. You can use either a light shade or a dark shade if you wish uh, with the Filtech Supreme or you can use the same shade as the tooth. In the anterior where aesthetics are important I like to use the same shade as the tooth but in the posterior regions where it might be a little bit harder to distinguish between tooth and resin you might want to use a, a lighter shade or a darker shade and some people prefer to use a, a blue shade of core material instead so they can easily see what is core and what is tooth. We'll now go and light cure the composite resin material. Again start a little bit away from the tooth then once the surface is hard we'll bring the light in really close. Now that we've finished light curing we're ready to go ahead and prepare and contour the tooth to achieve the final crown contour. And now we're going to be using the football shaped burr to finish the lingual surface. In this particular case we can take the tooth out of the mould and you can see there are no voids. The cement completely fills the canal and the post goes all the way to the end. If you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me.